What's good, everybody? It's O Double R I O N, and welcome back to everybody else who's coming back to listen to us. And this is Homeboy Talk podcast, and I want to go ahead and introduce my homeboy. What's going on, everyone? My name is Dion Donovan, creator of the infamous Florida Man comic book series. Welcome to Homeboy Talk, home of all things pop culture, video game, comics, and more. All right, so the next talking point we want to go into is the Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X. Now, uh, for you guys that want to know about it, the Xbox Series S is the less powerful that only support 1080p gaming. That is uh, all digital. It's a small, slimmer box, and it's the, it's in color white. Uh, then the Xbox Series X is the more powerful system that is physical that takes discs and it play up to 4K, upscale 8K, quote unquote upscale 8K. Now uh, this is a another powerful bad boy that's actually on the market right now. It's been going on. It's it's been in the craze um, this past. These past weeks, uh, pre-order, uh, pre-orders went up, and it sold out immediately. Now, um, my experience with the Xbox, Xbox Series S and X is that I actually was in the battlefield to try to pick up these the consoles. I came in fourth place when my GameStop had three out of one, three of one, meaning that there was three Xbox Series X and one Xbox Series S. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll talk about pre-orders in future discussions, but I just want to talk about, I want to keep the, the talking point on Xbox Series. I think the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it short and call it Series S and Series X, you know, because I don't really, it, it's a mouthful. Yeah, it's, it's a mouthful. mouthful. Microsoft, it's a mouthful. It's a mouthful, all right? All right, but uh, yes, uh, like I said, uh, after the description of those consoles, yeah, I expect them to be pretty powerful systems and stuff like that. I mean, I... I doubt that anybody could build a PC that can handle what the Xbox Series X and X. So I would give that, I would give them that point, that game point of winning in that aspect. Now, um, with these, the, the um, I, I gotta say, the, uh, the games at launch, I think that's their, that's where they drop the ball. Yeah. They, they, uh, <laughs> you guys can look it up of what they can have at launch, and there's really nothing out there that. That strikes me. I understand you Xbox fans are out there and stuff like that. Oh man, there's a lot to there's there's a lot to enjoy out of the Xbox. My point of view is to see controversial as that is and stuff like that. You could say it's like, oh yeah, Xbox do have games. Yes, old games. Because you want to sell Game Pass to me. Fine, that's fine, but it's all old games. We want new gen. You don't have any I mean the only new gen that's coming out is already what's games that's already on PlayStation 5, you know? I want new gen exclusive. That's what you. This that that is your job as as Microsoft is to sell me a system at at with a new gen with a new gen game that's gonna end, that's gonna have me buy that system at launch. Thinking about it now, when it came to sitting in line at GameStop for, for the pre order and was only given a pre order Series S or the Series just I'm just gonna call it Series S guys Series S. Um, I walked out of it. I was like, you know what, pass it to the next person. Because I wasn't going to walk out of that line with a Series S, you know? Yeah. Uh, and on top of that, there's really no games out there that's demanding me to actually have an Xbox right away. So at that, in my mindset, I was looking at it, and I was like, you know what? I know previous podcasts I've said that I've got a digital PlayStation. Why don't I just get a digital Xbox? But I want the same power. If Xbox would have came up with the same power as the as, as the Xbox Series X or the Series X, as a digital Series X, I would have bought it, you know. But the fact of the matter is that you limit it to you, you limit it towards a a box, a Series X box and a Series X box, one physical and one digital. But the digital one is being less powerful. It wasn't really that much of a hot sell, especially with the launch games that's coming out. It's probably one of those systems I could sit here and just wait for. Um, maybe, maybe next Christmas, 2021 Christmas. But other than that, yeah, like uh, with the power itself, that's cool. It, uh, the Xbox is not coming out with anything spe- uh, special with its accessories. There's no, there's no Connect, hooray! <laughs> so there's no camera spying on you. However, you know people would would still want to use that camera to stream. Uh, there is no specially designed headset for the for the Xbox. 
Um, and control is not that special at all. It's a, it's a new version of the Xbox One controller. Pretty bare bones. Pretty bare bones. The only added feature is the share button, you know. It, it could have went above and beyond and gave us an elite controller with the back paddles and everything else, but they didn't want to do anything else. There was nothing special coming on with that Xbox. So accessories going forward, there's really nothing going on except for a memory unit, an SSD unit of one terabyte. You can get a uh, one terabyte of, you can get for like $229, which is I don't think a lot of people are gonna buy, but if you're an Xbox fanboy to the hardcore, um, you're more likely probably gonna end up getting that one terabyte for 229 Microsoft, we, we wasn't gonna get me like that. But uh, that's my thoughts about the Xbox Series S and X. Uh, it's not a day one sell to me, even though I was in a pre-order line, but thank you right back at it. Yeah, it could wait till holiday 2021. But what are your thoughts on it, bro? Okay, well, I do have one thing that Microsoft has over Sony's PlayStation 5. Okay. And that is, that it is available in black. <laughs> so why, why, why is the PS5 only available in white, though? Come on, come on, Sony. It's 2020. Like, let's be real. <laughs> now, on a serious note, um, definitely that uh, a downgrade of power with the Series S compared to X puts like an asterisk besides it um and it also that that those launch titles is definitely something that has to be something has to be fixed with that unless they just want to have a a meh launch because like you said playstation 5 has miles morales spider-man they have more going forward at launch than xbox does so it's it's it almost seems flat like it's not even like, they're not even making a big deal out of it because we don't want to play, I guess, upscaled games that are already available on Xbox One. Right. We want to play new-gen games that has, that's built from the ground up on the new-gen. Mm -hmm. And Xbox, Microsoft isn't delivering on that front for their new console. Mm -hmm. And I think that the hype for it is, is not as much as PlayStation. I don't think there's this groundswell to try to find it, that, that desire. I think you're going to find a lot of kids or adults almost, if they can't find a PlayStation 5, having to just suck it up and get an Xbox Series S or X. Like, you know, back in the day, if you couldn't find a PlayStation 2, you got a GameCube or whatever, you know. So that might be, that might get some, that might get some sales from Microsoft. But I think definitely maybe next year when those exclusives hit, Microsoft uh, X Series S or X, then definitely that they'll be in a better position to want to have that feeling that I need to have that desire and feeling that I need to have this product. I need to have this Xbox to play these games because right now it's currently not there and they need the games to fix that game pass. Why you don't we don't want to buy a new game console to buy to play old games. That's just kind of redundant. It's a cool feature. You might get some, some thrills out of it, but I think it's short term. I think definitely once you get that game pass and you get it out of your system, you're like, damn, like, why do I have this thing? I want to play the next big thing, and it's not currently available on the Series S or X. So I think Microsoft's got to step their game up to try to promote it and to try to have something going for it for the launch because it's kind of falling flat, and I'm not sure what those solutions are. I'm not sure they need to run a hell of a marketing campaign to create a feeling or want of need to have this console. But if not, then, I mean, I'm not saying it's it's not going to sell well. I mean, this is it's 2020. People are staying indoors. People need entertainment. They need to consume anything for escapism. And then this is an outlet for that. So there is definitely room for it. But in the long run, they're going to have to – they don't want to play catch-up too fast – to Sony. Otherwise, it's, it becomes an ugly next-gen war, quote-unquote. So that's all I got on that Series S and X, man. Uh, and yeah, no, to pick it back up on what you said, you know, it's like, you know, people are looking to actually have a new system during the holiday, se holiday season. And uh, I think there's two more talking points I want to add into it is uh, uh, that I do understand that the Xbox Series S and the Xbox Series X they are capable of taking current gen games and keeping keeping their frames per second at 60 locked on 60 uh so there's going to be quick improvements there, there's going to be improvements to current games such as faster loading 
I did see uh, there's, a, there's a source I want to point out. Uh, I, would add, I would recommend anybody else to check out Digital Foundry on YouTube where they do the comparison of the Xbox Series X and the Xbox One X and the Xbox One, and I believe. And they compare the loading times of each, each, uh, each one and how fast it played Red Dead Redemption. And Red Dead Redemption 2 was one of those games that does take a while because that is a highly graphical game. And the current, well, the current system, that current Xbox One X doesn't lock on at 60 frames per second at 4K. But the Xbox, the Xbox Series X is able to do that with no problem. It locks it in at 60 and it keeps the graphics and it loads and everything else fast. It keeps it, keeps it fast with that SSD that's added in there. And it's that SSD technology that's making games the loading times a lot faster and loading times a lot bear, a lot more bearable and stuff like that. Because there's a point in times during loading times, you have plenty of things to do. Go on social media, like things on Instagram, or or talk shit on Twitter <laughs> before you get into a game. But yeah, I do understand that uh, the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S are capable of uh, of improving current gen games. But like it's like you know, like I said. That's not what people want to do. They want to play. They want to play new gen games, and and if people can't get the PlayStation Five, then they're going to end up picking up an Xbox, or they're just going straight straight to the Switch because the Switch is pretty much the highest, the fastest, and still going to sell this all of, uh, this holiday season. But that's topics in the future. But the main point is that the Xbox Series X and this Xbox Series X is a, it's, a, it's a high demand. Because everybody wants to get ready to brace themselves for new gen, getting ready to get into new ga uh, gaming for the next five, ten years. You know, as we get into 4K gaming, uh, be able to actually rub shoulders with uh, PC gamers and talk about that we're able to play games at 4K, 60 frames, 60 frames lock, and um, it is such as because it is a high demand this holiday season. Uh, if you have not got, if you haven't locked in your pre-orders. Or if you accidentally bought an Xbox, uh, again, I know a lot. It's going to be a lot of confused parents this holiday season, and uh, uh, you know, for everybody else that's working retail, uh, wish you guys luck, and I wish everybody else luck who's actually trying to obtain themselves an Xbox Series S or it's Xbox Series X. Supposedly, they're supposed to be have some more at launch, but it, like I said, it's a it's a it's a high demand item, and um, other than that, for Microsoft to actually. Yeah, they're, they're they're proud of themselves. They said like, yeah, man, we sold out because you're gonna have limited stock for pre-order, you know, because it made no sense. I just want to put this point out there that when I went to GameStop to try to pre-order the system, quote, granted, my GameStop, this this is from them them telling me that when the PlayStation Five pre-orders was up, they had sixteen and two. My GameStop. Uh, that held the Xbox Series X and X had three and one. So Microsoft holding that victory of saying, yeah, we sold out too. Of course you'd sell out. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, uh, that's my input about the Xbox Series S and X. Again, uh, good luck to everybody else that's trying to obtain one. Do you have anything else to add? No, man, nothing else to add. But if y'all like, y'all excited for it, don't let us diminish your excitement for it. You know, I mean, in the end, gaming's all about having fun and experiencing things that you can't through any other means. So big ups to you, Xbox, Microsoft fanboys who are going to be really excited for it. And, you know, hope you enjoy this next gen. All right. There we go. Before you go anywhere, be sure to follow us at Homeboy Talk at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and SoundCloud. And of course, YouTube. And if you want to follow me individually, you can follow me at O double R I O N. That is Orion Online on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. All right, y'all. You guys can find me at Title Page Comics on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Follow me to see all my latest projects and opinions on all things pop culture. And with that, let's wrap things up. Let us know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, comment below. I'm going to leave things out with my boy Ryan. That's right. Thanks, you guys, for the love and support. Make sure you do all those things that my boy just mentioned. We'll go ahead and wrap things up here real quick, all right?